guys. So today for this week's video, I'm going to talk about more Instagram stories. Shocker. Um, this is a cool topic that I've been wanting to share with you guys for a while though, because I've had, dad's calling me. Sorry, Steve, it'll have to wait. Um, I've been wanting to share with you guys how to create your own Instagram story filters. So there's actually a way that you can um, go in and create your own filter and have it approved by Facebook so that you can publish your own filter on Instagram stories. So if you've been on Instagram, you will see that once you go to the story part, you can click across here. I'll put a little thing up on the screen um, and select a filter that you want to use. And it says from blah, 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 saying their name. So I was really intrigued by all of that. And I was like, well, I want to make my own Instagram filter. So today's video is going to teach you how to do the basic steps to create that Instagram filter. Now, obviously there's a lot of in-depth filters that you can do. You can do distortions. You can just do backgrounds. You can do a dust filter. You can do certain things like that. And so you're going to have to get on this website and figure it out for yourself, which one you kind of want to do. So to get started, you're going to go to the website, um, spark AR studio, and you're actually going to download, the app onto your computer. And so you can't do this from a phone, but you can download it to any MacBook um, or Windows computer, and it's called Spark AR Studio. You're gonna want to download that and then open it up, and you're, once you open it up, you'll kind of see some samples of the filters that you can do, um, and they have a bunch of different options. So once you select a sample filter to kind of get it started and test it out for the first time, you'll wanna modify it, change it up a little bit. And honestly, the web, the app is really, really easy to use if you're trying to create the filter. And once you create it and you get it exactly how you like it, um, you'll use it on a video that you upload to the app. And so once you upload that, the video to the app, you'll be able to apply the face filter onto it and make any additional adjustments before you save it, which makes it kind of cool. So you want to do a little demo video upload it to the app, make final adjustments, and then you'll go into exporting the filter. So to export it, you'll just simply go to the export button in Spark AR, um, and it'll show you iOS, Android, and then an older Android, like how much it's gonna take to download and kind of like how many kilobytes and everything like that. And so after you do that, you're gonna save it to a location that you're gonna be able to find it. I always save things to my desktop, then later go in and delete it or move it to a different folder. So that's what I would recommend. And then you're going to move on to facebook.com slash spark AR hub. And this is where you get to actually show your effects to the world. And this makes it a little bit more fun. And this is also the place where your filter can get approved or Facebook can actually tell you that it's not approved and you'll have to go back in and make further edits. So, once you get to facebook.com slash spark AR hub, you are going to go to upload effect. You'll click on that and you'll choose which platform you want to use the effect for. You can either do Facebook or Instagram since Facebook owns Instagram. This is kind of um, a way to kind of mush it all together and make it a little bit easier on you. Next, you'll hit um, the next button. You'll go into the effect icon and from there it's pretty um, simple to use. I'm going to actually do a blog post on this on my website to kind of go a little bit more in depth because um, it'll be hard for me to go step by step with you through this video without having my screen up. And so I'm going to do kind of some pictures and things like that in a blog post. So be on the lookout for that. Once you get done with the Spark AR Hub, you're going to test your filter. And so you upload it to the Facebook um, Spark AR website, and then you can preview it in the app, and it'll actually let you get a preview link, and you can test out the effect to see if it's how you like it. And then after that, you'll move into publishing it, and you will choose a category. Um, they'll also, uh, you'll have a preview link that you send to yourself, and you can go back to your computer and um, drag and drop the video into the demo video section of the Facebook page. So you're going to have a demo video that you'll upload to the app and then you'll also upload a demo video to facebook.com slash sparkarhub because they're going to want to see how it looks as well. 
you will actually get to choose when your filter will go live. You can have a start immediately or you can do a start and end date. So after that, it'll move into the review information page. You'll type up a quick summary of what your effect does. So all of the information that you're putting into um, the review information box isn't going to go public. So you can put whatever you want in there. Obviously don't, wouldn't recommend putting in like personal information or anything like that. Um, but then after that, you simply just submit it for review and Facebook will let you know when it gets approved. So that is basically how you create your own Instagram story filter. I hope you guys test it out and be sure to be on the lookout on my website for a blog post on how to do this step by step. Thanks.